Um, okay, well, let's do a couple rapid fire questions and then, uh, and then we'll hear how folks can follow you and what you have up next. So what is your favorite, like, so is there a song that you listen to before a fight or what like pumps you up before a fight? Oh, before a fight? Uh, I, it's always a different one, but uh, actually I have the same entrance song uh, for my last, uh, like, I don't know, like six fights, I think. Uh, so it's an SMA storm. Uh, basically, it's uh, the original name is Vivaldi Four Seasons. Yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a lot of Four Seasons jokes weird around. So I actually saw someone with the Vivaldi Four Seasons earlier this morning on like an Instagram post. <laughs> That's so cool. Right. So uh, yeah, Vanessa me is like the current, like the modern interpretation of Vivaldi. That is cool. That's awesome. Uh, what is your favorite move to fight you with? Uh, move? Yeah. Uh, most of my fights I won by Amba, so it's pretty uh, <laughs> Yeah, like everybody knows that Amba, it's like, it's my, it's my thing. <laughs> What's like the hardest move to pull off? Nothing. Like it's always, it's up to every opponent, you know, like it's not, uh, not up to you. It's up to your opponent, what your opponent shut down to do. Yeah. You should, if you're a fighter, you should do everything. <laughs> awesome. I love it. What do you love to do on a day off? Uh, just laying down in the bed and watching <laughs> like random movies and so on. Because, you know, during your week, usually like you're just running from one place to an hour to an hour. And sometimes you just need to just to relax and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I hear you. Yeah. Is there, a, um, is there a fighter that you really looked up to? Like who's kind of been a role model in the MMA jiu-jitsu world for you? Uh, like a role model if uh, we represent Roger Gracie Academy so of course uh, when like uh, for me it's a big like uh, yeah like Roger Gracie he is the biggest star he is the best competitor ever in Brazilian jiu-jitsu so and he was a big influence for me like watching uh, mentality how to be a great that's uh, so uh, if to choose one person just who really influenced my me uh with his like uh what he's doing so yeah it's it's Roger and uh, from a May uh when I was growing up not not growing up but like when my earlier days I really like to watch George St. Pierre because uh, I think he is the most universal fighter who was complete in everything so I think those two cool that's awesome yeah. is there a particular fighter that you want to fight no, I don't care. <laughs> Seriously, I don't care. But it's it's all up to UFC and uh, how I will stand in front of me in the cage. Uh, like I will fight that person. <laughs> Is there a certain place you want to go to to fight? Like a place to visit or a specific arena that you know of? I, I like to fight everywhere. You know, like uh, I just. But one of the also one of the biggest pluses of being a professional fighter because uh, it it led me to travel a lot because uh, uh, like uh, I travel pretty much and uh, especially with fights so yeah I just wanna uh, if to choose I just wanna fight every fight in a new place <laughs> I don't like to fight in the same places and even me and my coaches sometimes are laughing when we have a fight in the same like uh, city or town where we already was like. Uh, we already was here. It will be better if they'll give me a, an hour card <laughs> and so on. Because yeah. how, how long are you in a city for a fight? Um, usually it's like five days. But you know, when you go for a fight, you don't really see a city. It's more like a work, you know. Maybe like the last time when I was in Japan, for example, I did not see Tokyo at all. Like, oh, first of all, I already was here. And secondly, like, I didn't like. I didn't really have time. Uh, when I fought in Las Vegas last time, we didn't see town at all because we was closed uh, for quarantine in, in like in the hotel. And so they basically took us from hotel and brought back to the hotel. We didn't see the Vegas at all. Hmm. So you know, like when yeah, you see kind of like uh, the city, but it's also you should not forget that it's a part of your job and you are here for work. Right. Yeah. You have different priorities for sure. Um, yeah. Okay. If, name one place in Lithuania that people should come visit and then a place in Japan that you love that you think people should go see. Mm, 
in Lithuania, of course, my town, Kolonos, because I was laughing, like, if you want to see, like, a tourist place, you should come to the capital, uh, to the Vilnius, uh, but uh, if you want to see the real Lithuanians and to talk to real Lithuanians, you should come to Kaunas. Uh, but also, I will notice, like, the best place, probably, it's the Trakai Castle. Yeah, that's a pretty cool place, because uh, it's, it's a castle on the island, and it looks really cool. Yeah. Cool. And what about in Japan? Where was some place you loved in Japan? In Japan, basically Tokyo is just fun to walk around. That's the thing. It's, it doesn't matter where you are. Just the sense, it's really a fun ta- uh, town for the parties. <laughs> yeah, seriously, seriously, just go here and uh, at the night time, uh, Shibuya, Shinjuku, it's just a great place just to walk around and just hang out with everybody you see around. <laughs> awesome, cool. I do want to go and like sleep in one of those pod hotels for like one night, just like to see, <laughs> see what the pod is like and do it once and get out of there. But, uh, okay, uh, now no, we, we, we had apartments. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Cool. Well, what do you have coming up next? And, um, and I'd love to hear too, like, where do you hope women's UFC continues to grow? Like, are there certain things that you want to see happen for the future and for, you know, kids to keep getting involved or kind of, what are your, what are your hopes for the next couple of years? So, like, UFC is already doing a great uh, job, and uh, with, especially with female fighters. And uh, since uh, UFC got women's in, in 2013 or 12, uh, women's first fight was, I think, 2012, yeah. Uh, so uh, since that time, uh, female uh, fights are getting really big. Like, we have a main card. So we have a bigger stars so as a female in UFC. So uh, I'm pretty, like, calm about female role in the UFC because it's already pretty big. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, the UFC treats us equally as a man. And we have the same rights, we have the same status, and we have can reach the same goals as, as guys can do here. So in the UFC, it's, everything is fine with that thing. But uh, my biggest hopes are probably are related with my country because, uh, you know, one of my goals is like uh, I really want to see more fighters. We already got like when I was growing up and uh, when I just started my career, the first question always was who will be the first fighter in the UFC. Right now we have uh, me uh, as a UFC fighter. We also have Modestas Bukowskas, uh, who was born in Lithuania but raised in uh, England. Uh, and uh, I really hope that uh, in the future uh, more guys and girls will come to to the UFC and we will see uh, like way more uh, people representing uh, our flag and all of our country. So that's my biggest hope for, actually. That's awesome. Very yeah. cool. Do you have a fight coming up? Not yet. We're still waiting. <laughs> yeah. Well, and everything's so crazy too. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really hope that UFC gonna give me something in the near future. I already, I already want to fight badly. <laughs> yeah, we will definitely be staying tuned. And where can people follow you? Find you online? Yeah, sure. You can find me on Instagram. It's Yulia uh, Also Facebook. And actually, my Facebook is open, and uh, I take everybody as a friend request. It's still it's still open, so you can just uh, message me, and like I I always trying to message everybody back. <laughs> yeah, so easy, easy. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you again for taking the time and joining from across the world. I'm just so uh, so grateful, and really have loved our chat and just hearing more about you. So thanks again. <laughs> thank you that you asked me. Like that was a nice time for me. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, we will, we'll stay in touch. And when, when you get a fight, we'll be sure to follow along and um, yeah, maybe, maybe in a year we could have you back on and see how things are going. Yeah, sure.